How is everyone feeling this fine evening? Comment below and let me know. And for those of you who don't know, this channel is called No Trash Tolerated because we don't tolerate no trash. All right. So I did Chester P. Fire in the Streets recently. And it was some fire in the streets. As I said in that reaction, it wasn't just fire in the streets. It was a goddamn nuclear bomb in the streets. Okay. That shit was Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined in the streets. There was no street after that. But uh, the authorship was recommended by a few of you guys. So I'm going to peep this. I'm going to see what the deal is. All right. I I liked what he had to say even as far as the conscious rap went uh, in that. But I'm not going to talk too much. I just reacted to Abomination and Abomination 2 uh, by Loki. And then the second one had some features. Uh, check the, check out the first one. Honestly, I'd rather you check out the first one than the second one. Uh, but check out both if you have the time. But here we go. Chester P. Authorship. That shit got banned from TV, apparently. But yeah, man. That, that first one was fucking brutal. And I loved it, man. Because it was all true. I mean, that I know of, it was all true. Chester P. Here we go. <laughs> Why is there so much chaos in the world, you know, and we have all these deities, supposedly religious deities that bring order, but it doesn't uh, seem to work, maybe order is just uh, man's perception of trying to order a chaotic universe that we're never going to really be able to bring true order. I already have a headache, dude, and the bars haven't even started. I don't have a headache, but he's going into what order and chaos are before he even starts rapping. Chaotic universe that we're never going to really be able to bring true order in. What mm -hmm. we need uh, is our own religion. I'm just going to say this first. How civilized are we actually? We always act like our shit doesn't stink now. We're so advanced. How advanced are we really? They aren't coming to fuck with us until we stop fucking each other. Okay, aliens are probably looking at us like these people still have sex. What the fuck are they doing? They they jack off to porn every day. What what, what the fuck are they? And they want to call themselves an advanced species anyway. Be able to bring true <laughs> order in. What we need uh, is our own religion dedicated to chaos. Hmm. Anarchy. Wake up every morning to the same damn feeling and devise a plan to rise above the city like Spider-Man. I spent my better years inside the cider can, drowning on the potion in my writer's hand. Scribbling these feelings, man, I wrestle with the best of these times that this life gave to me. My lifestyle was truly reflecting itself hatefully. It took a lot of fears for these words to appear gracefully on tear-stained pages. These beer-stained sages of a new world. Damn, he's saying I've been through hell, man, and I've portrayed a lot of hate. He's getting real, man, and he's like on these tear-stained pages as he was writing. He was crying when he was writing. He's he's bringing you into his world. For these words to appear gracefully on tear-stained pages, these beer-stained sages of a new world remain to be mirrored in the words that I wrote in a state of vacancy. No matter what it takes from me, my every little demon always hit the paper sacredly. I shift shape, shaping the state of my face, facing these stations of the battle cats, shackles of complacency, street dwelling, weed selling, inner city snaking me, walking in the maze of this bitterly made masonry, blazing on a raid of a strain that I spent the day to greet. I walked. He's talking about how he was just kind of living, living the low, like just kind of the low street life. You know, he was selling his reefer, his, his bud, he was selling this shit. He was, you know, smoked the strain that he worked all day to get, you know, he wasn't like all this frivolous, futile shit that he was kind of pursuing and just like kind of dust in the wind, you know, no real, no real meaning or or uh, objectives, I guess, is kind of what I'm getting from it. This bitterly made masonry, blazing on a raid of a strain that I spent the day to greet. Mason, yeah. I walk the streets with a lot of scars, and talks cheap to pay the price of the piper, it cost a lot of bars. The mm. hardest truth to obtain is in a knotted shard, buried in my guts. This man at large knows that nothing lasts. Even the last laugh will demise into a dreaded silence. The dreaded sirens of the banshees of- Even the last laugh will go into a dreaded silence? Hey, man, that's true, dude. Because if you're getting the last laugh, are you actually... 
Like you're not finding peace. If you're getting the last laugh, you're trying to prove that someone was wrong and laugh in their face. That doesn't bring you peace, man. You're disrespecting another human being. Like that's not going to bring you any satisfaction, like true satisfaction. He, just like he said, at the end of the day, after your last laugh, it'll go to a silence where you're just like, you still got to fall asleep that night and think to yourself like, damn, the look on that person's face, right? Like the look, of, they were hurt, you know, like I, I kind of made them feel or look like an idiot. And Chester P is obviously smart enough to do that. Like, if you have the ability to do that, man, you have the same ability to help and hurt people. If you can hurt people really, really bad, you can use that same ability. It's the same thing that can make you help them just as much, but on, on the opposite end of the spectrum. Of unsettled violence, broke my chain of the mice into a dreaded silence. The dreaded sirens of the banshees of unsettled violence, broke my chain of thought of self-emancipated guidance. A rebel rising on these vapors of a devil's island. LSD and psilocybin with my saving grace. I used to sit and meditate about trading places with all my people who had left me for the sacred matrix. I saw tomorrow like a paper chase, but he he used to basically like trip and meditate on on people who had left him for the sacred matrix. God, yeah, storyteller, the the post apocalyptic storyteller, damn straight. This shit is hard to follow because he's packing so many bars in, or he's he's packing so many syllables in, and he's got so many internal rhymes and mul multiple syllable. Multisyllabic slanted poetry is what it's called, and he's killing it, dude. These papers never meant shit, they still don't mean shit. I've seen a lot of friendships destroyed by this fiendish green light of greed within a dream like consensus to feed right this street life will breed misadventures. The poet in me, romantic. He's saying this shit is worthless, like it, there's no real meaning to it. Just like I was kind of saying earlier is, is what he's been alluding to is there's no real meaning to this like the street life leads to misadventures. Like you're fooling yourself into thinking that you're actually doing something or on an adventure. Like what are you actually doing for yourself and for others? But mostly for yourself because first you can't help others if, if you're not in a place to do it yourself. That's the most important thing. You can't help other people if you're not in a position where you can help where you help yourself if you don't help yourself first you can't help them another motherfucker Read right this street life will breed misadventures the poet in me romanticizing daily huh the world's a drug my life's paraphernalia if i could climb out of bed the world's a drug <laughs> my life dude there that's a deep line right there the world's a drug and my life i already know this reaction is gonna be long dude my life is paraphernalia. So his life is the way he consumes the world, which is the drug. So like his life is the pipe. He's getting high off the world. But his life is the pipe, the means by which he does it. Yeah, man, there's so many layers to that. Like you can, that there's, the beauty in, in Chester P is he is so, it's so up to interpretation and that's what real art is fuck all this drake shit that's what real art is is where it's it's not only up to interpretation but you have to think really have to think to be able to even start to interpret it that's what real art is and that's that's why i recognize right away even the fire in the streets i was like damn dude like i'm missing so much because I have to try to think about every fucking line, man. Every fucking line. And that's why, like, this is this is a long reaction and I missed so much already. Because you have to try to analyze every single line because it's real art. Like, he's put his his thought, his his soul into this. His mind into it, you know? Like, this isn't just some shit you unless if you've heard it a thousand times this isn't some shit you just put on to chill to i'll have to listen to this like 20 times before i can even really start maybe not 20 but before i can even really start to let it sink in man
Sizing daily, huh? The world's a drug. My life's paraphernalia. If I could climb out of bed. In the way. Man, and the way he rhymes, too. There's there's the wisdom to it. I said this in the fire in the streets. I don't know if I should talk about the facts he's spitting or the way he's spitting the facts. It's true, dude. This is this is real art right here. Sizing daily, huh? The world's a drug. My life's paraphernalia. If I could climb out of bed with this bag of weed, I mean I'd sit and write a tale that could travel to Australia. Reverse itself, echoing success within the failure. Returning to the sender, the agenda of my savior. Mm. This telekinesis got me speaking like a savior. Maybe I'm a crazy case. Wake up with this lazy face. Observe my every presence in this future I'm creating. In the state of mind, I found myself writing these words to say to you. Now do you get me? Rewind it and hear it twice. I used to I used to spend my days afraid of having sober nights. He was kind of just chasing this life to be able to not have to be sober at night. Dude, I've been there, man. Like, I was there for years, dude. Like, honestly, man, I was, like, basically from when I was 16 to, like, 20 years old. I was doing drugs, dude. Like, I, everything I would do during the day was so that I could get some kind of, so I didn't have to be in reality, man. And that's not a, like, that's no way to live. And, like, that, you don't have any peace. You don't have any vision. Like, you, you can't think a day ahead, let alone a year. You know, there's no real, it's just an endless chase. Man, dude. Fucking Chester P. Me, rewind it and hear it twice. I used to spend my days afraid of having sober nights. Man, I know I now control the universal dice. I roll them on a bed of stars. Creation is my only right. I ha I have a universal dice. I roll them on a bunch of stars. See, dude, this is this is the fucking problem with Chester P. Man. This is the this is the beauty in the fucking problem. And I know I now control the universal dice. I roll them on a bed of stars. Creation is my only rare. Simply put, in a multitude of stages, I'm the author and the characters that's found within the pages of this novel that I'm writing. So I write it how the fuck I feel. The truth igniting is writing is knowing nothing's real. If life is nothing, it's simply because there's nothing willed. So I rewrite it enlightened by this proper skill. I could be lost, blinded by the daffodils. I spend my whole life meditating, but this stack of bills is building up behind me while I'm vision. Dude, I almost, I actually feel bad. This is only my second Chester P reaction, and I actually feel bad when I react to him because I don't, I know I don't, I mean, I'm doing the best I can, but I know I don't do it justice, dude. I know I don't. Realizing happy meals, feeding empty faces who are clapping like a pack of seals. For all these rappers in a frenzy trying to boast to us. I fuck this year, mate, so the most of us. We ch <laughs> oh man, that was a good laugh, bro. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck bitches. Yeah, man. So do most of us. So do most of us. <laughs> Rappers in a frenzy trying to boast to us I fuck this year mate, so the most of us We chase riches till our spirits like a ghost to us Ooh, we chase riches till our spirits like a ghost to us? I've said this before in previous reactions, man Like, on the road to success, if you don't keep your compassion and your humanity, you lose your soul Like, if you're just chasing money And your goal is to make as much money as possible You're gonna be miserable, man like, you're going to be miserable, guaranteed. Okay? If that is your one and only goal. It's it's like an addiction, man. It's just as dangerous of an addiction as, like... Well, I don't want to say just as dangerous, but it's just as... It'll take your soul just as much as, like, heroin or, like, meth or some fucking crazy drugs like that. Thank God I never got into that stuff, man. Thank God that I never got that far, but... It's just as dangerous, man. Maybe not as far as le lethality. Leth yeah, it's not j just as lethal, but 
just as detrimental to your soul and your well-being. This year, mate, so the most of us. We chase riches till our spirit's like a ghost to us. To lay down in our ditches and dream of these people close to us. Mm. You're quite ironically furthest away. I surrender to this pen and these words that I say. And in the universe next door, there's a next chest. Try to explore the next best solution for losing a grip on death's law. So let's say, all of us are created in this headspace of self-expressive light waves. Preparing for the next page, I wrote that. I looked upon the heavens and controlled that while the goddess of success was busy begging for some bullcat but i ain't yamming underneath for begging for some deals. what is that some is that some slang or some british shit i don't know aggressive light waves preparing for the next page i wrote that i looked upon the heavens and controlled that while the goddess of success was busy begging for some bullcat but i ain't yamming underneath for any old scat my soul clapped the book changed its name like poll tax and nowadays i'm pretty sure they'll never understand me so i write myself apart where my art is candid i leave you stranded in a novel that i'm yet to finish too many hours being made up of regretful minutes Too many minutes to calculate the count in seconds I take the stage, take my bow until tomorrow beckons <sighs> Whoops, just restarted it but <sighs> Man, I feel bad because I know you guys have listened to this so many times And you just see me like trying to scramble to catch these Fucking like, not even just bars because it honestly, I I don't, he doesn't have like a lot of double meanings in there. He has double meanings for sure. And he's got a hell of a lot of wordplay, but it's like, it's the wisdom, dude. It's it's how deep the lines are that it makes, it's very difficult to actually grasp it. You know, this is some, this, like I said, this is some real art, man. But hey, I'm going to be checking out another Chester P, uh, Chester P track real quick here and uh i'm not sure which one but i'm about to do it man hey chester p dude he's got me thinking man he's got me thinking real hard right now dude fucking love it 